and you defended your lightweight title a record five times in three years and you fought uh, Ken Shamrock in your last defense before your break from fighting. Um, when did the animosity with you and Shamrock start? Well, I think the animosity started between me and uh, Ken Shamrock was uh, when I fought Jerry Bolander the first time. And uh, I put a shirt on and that was one of the first sponsorships that I got uh, and it was from an, uh, an adult uh, entertainment company. And on the back it said, I just have your ASS uh, on the back and um, I got paid five grand for it and they didn't like it, they hated it, but Jerry Bolander was talking about kind of smack before the fight and I didn't say anything. I waited for the fight to be over with and then I talked my smack and they didn't like it. Uh, Ken hated it and then I got an opportunity to fight Guy Metzger and once again it was the Lions Den versus Tito Ortiz and all those guys disliked me because I stood up and I stood up against the bullies because those guys were the bullies of MMA I thought. They were kind of like the Cobra Kai of Karate Kid. Um, and I beat uh, Guy Metzger and I think 11 minutes, 50 seconds and so forth, the referee stoppage. And Ken uh, comes over the top of the cage saying, you don't have to be so damn disrespectful because I, I wore a t-shirt and said Gay Metzger is my bitch. And well that's just like confidence, people call it cockiness, but I was just confident the way I fought and I had to defend myself against these bullies. I was going to get bullied by another team. And uh, I think that was the game that I really started. Ken went on to WWE, or WWF, which became WWE Professional Wrestling. And then he fought um, in Pride in Japan. And I remember after I defended my light heavyweight title for the uh, fourth time, I remember telling uh, Dana White, you should give me a fight against uh, Ken Shamrock. I think he would really sell it. And he goes, really? I, mean, yeah, I think he really could sell it. And then all of a sudden, about six months later, Dana comes back to me and says, I think we got this deal done. And I was like, let's get it done. Let's do it. And that was UFC 40 when I fought at Ken. And I think that was the beginning of a rivalry that was true. There was no fake uh, storylines. There was nothing. That, that was true hatred that me and, Frank, or, excuse me, that me and Ken had towards each other. What would you say the main differences are between Ken and Frank as fighters and as people? Um, the difference between the fighter and people with Ken Shamrock and Frank Shamrock. Um, you know, I, Ken's a good dude now. I, I can't say bad things about him now. And, but back in the day, he was a very standoffish, thought he was larger than life, um, thought he was a god to life type of guy. You know, uh, I'd see him the way he treated his fans, he was horrible, but he's changed. Of course, you, you get humbled as you get served humble pie. Um, Frank was on the total opposite side of the spectrum. Frank was a professional who always looked for new things to do. He was a straight martial artist who understood uh, the respect values. Um, as myself, I think me and Frank got along really well. He became later on, and still is my friend. Uh, he was just a martial artist. He understood the game. It wasn't about being the big tough guy. It was about business, about what's the next step for the future. And that's what helped me through my career too. Not only just as a fighter, but as a businessman. So I think there's a separate where you got the big brawn guy compared to the guy with the smarts who has the brawn, who has the technique and has a style because he has so such an open mind. And I think that's really important in life in general, of having an open mind and Frank is that person. And you want to just talk about your last two fights against Shamrock quickly to seal him off? Yeah, um, so after the first fight I fought Shamrock, uh, UFC 40, um, I smashed him in three rounds. Um, and then he was crying saying that oh, he didn't get a fair fight, that he wants another fight with me, which is looking for more money, which I understand. So we did number two. Number two lasted a whole minute and 35 seconds, I think 34 seconds around there. Um, smashed him super fast. And they said that the fight should have went longer. He's saying that they pre they stopped the fight the start stopped the fight too fast and I didn't agree with it. I thought it was baloney. Uh, I said I smashed you. I said, what? You know, we're gonna do better. I talked to Dana, I go, we'll give it to you free on Spike TV. So we gave the fight with uh, number three with Ken Shamrock, free on Spike TV. And I remember hitting the shot. Adam gets the fence, I lifted him, and I ran him all the way across the other side of the ring and threw him on the floor and slammed him and started elbowing his face to death. And uh, they ended up stopping it. And I was able to seal that fight off, you know. And uh, it, was, it was nice to show that the hard work does pay off.